Hi everybody, it's Mark from the band Ruby Topaz. Um, today I'm going to be doing a demo of the new pedal from Greg Fryer, the Treble Booster Deluxe. As some of you may know, Greg is the guy who restored Brian May's red special guitar and built him some spares as well. Uh, he builds his treble boosters and he's based in Australia. And he has a line of treble booster pedals that correspond to different eras of Queen music. I own a couple. I have the uh, uh, Touring Booster and the Plus Boosters. Great, great pedals. Now, Greg told me that he developed a new circuit for a booster that would work well with any modeling amp, uh, or any amp for that matter, and any guitar, not just the Red Special. It's really important to, to have a treble booster first aligned. The treble booster loads your pickups down and gives you that sound. It reacts with your guitar really well. Uh, and I need to be able to uh, shut it off, so I need a true bypass switch. Uh, I'm not Brian May. Love Brian May, but... I have my sound, and I need to be able to turn this on and off and bring it in because I use different tones, different amps, different guitars. So uh, it also has, which, which I think is really important, is a gain knob. Now, the gain knob allows you, depending on how much distortion you have set on your amp, to turn it up and get it right to that sweet spot where your guitar is really interactive with the amp. I think that's, that's really important to push it into that beautiful spot. When I got in touch with Greg and asked him if that... Uh, true bypass thing was on the horizon uh he told me about this pedal and we talked and uh, he built me one Syrian number zero zero one really cool uh he's a really great guy and i value his friendship and his generosity it's just unbelievable he's a really really great guy uh this is a new intro to the video that i originally made a week ago when i sat down to edit this video i realized that not everybody is going to want to sit down and sit through 40 minutes of a demo one jesus the story for me is this going to fit with my amp or i play this kind of music or am i just going to sound like queen so i put snippets of songs in there and showed you how that would fit in there it's just me playing but there are songs there uh, we'll do a quick uh rig rundown so i'm using a 300 watt veta head upgraded to veta 2 it's running 212 open back cabinets with less than G12H90s and 2412 closed back cabinets, one with Eminence Screaming Eagles, which would be on the left, and Eminence Red Coat Wizards, which would be on the right. All my guitar synths, acoustic sounds, reverbs, delays are all going to two EV powered speakers on either side of the rig. So if I hit my rack unit and I have like a really huge reverb unit, it sounds like a cave. All the guitar sounds are coming out of the guitar speakers, and then you hear this sound coming around the room, so it actually feels like you're in the room with it. It's really cool that you're in that cave, in that place. So, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play uh, very cleanly uh, with the volume turned way down, and you'll hear how nice and shimmery it is, and I'll turn it up, and you'll hear the distortion. So first off, what we're using today right now is we're using two Vox models, both AC-15s. Now, I know Brian used uh, AC-30s, but he used the normal uh, channel. Now, the VET only has a top boost channel. Top boost does not sound good with a treble booster. So I'm using the AC-15s, not perfect, but it's close enough, uh, and I'll have a chorus on here. So for, you'll see, without the treble booster, it's very, as Brian would say, woolly. <laughs> But if I turn on the treble booster, which, by the way, is dimed, so that's going to uh, recreate the non-gain uh, knob version of this pedal because it's all the way up. So this is dimed. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to switch to the guitar, and you'll hear what that sounds like. Okay, so now we're going to be using this here. Um, this is my main sound. My main sound is a Fender 53 Tweed Deluxe with a Tube Screamer on the left side going through the Screaming Eagles and the Celestians, and a Marshall with a Variac, a Super Lead uh, Plexi, with a Variac on the left side going through the Wizards and the other Celestians. Um, I'm using my left to them. Here. So here's what my normal sound sounds like, okay? <laughs> This is pretty dynamic as well. A little bit of Queen stuff with this. And I personally think this sounds more like Queen than using the Brian May guitar with the Vox stuff. So, let me get a chorus happening here. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
good time. This thing is awesome. I really love playing this pedal. Very touch sensitive, very dynamic. But this doesn't only work on Queen songs. Um, as I mentioned, or maybe I didn't mention, Ruby Topaz, my band, has been around since the 70s. We're an original band, and that's what we do. We're not a cover band. We fool around once in a while at rehearsals and play some covers, and if we have a party in the studio and people come down for birthdays and so on, we throw some covers in. But I don't study this stuff, so forgive me if I make mistakes, because uh, we're not a cover band. And again, I don't study this. I'm just playing this by ear and having a good time. Um, but if you are in a cover band... Don't think this is a one-trick pony, because it's not. It will cover a lot of the old classic rock. In fact, a lot of the old, guy, the old players back then, like Black Sabbath and so on, used the Dallas Range Master treble booster to push their amps into distortion. So I'll play some, uh, some songs here, and uh, you'll hear how closely this covers those tones. Now, realize that when I'm using my main sound here, I'm not switching programs. I'm just using the volume control. I might bring in a chorus or a delay, but this has all been one set of sounds with just the volume control uh, changing all these tones. So I'll play you some uh, some classic cover pieces, and we'll see how this fares. Oh, here we go. <laughs>
bridge back up, you get that woman tone you often heard Eric Clapton talk about. <laughs> I'll use this and maybe a Telecaster, and I'll use a couple of different amps to see how this fares with different amps and guitars. So let's just use the setting I was using now and see what that sounds like. Here's a Vox, top boost. A JTM 45 and a baseball. Single coils are lay sensors, and this is Dimaggio. Uh, I don't remember what it is, to be honest with you. If it's a fast track or a chopper or whatever the hell it is, but it's one of those blade pickups. JTS 45 and a JTM 45. <laughs> feel it. It's very touch sensitive. Mm -hmm. 
the treble boost is still at around just a little after three o'clock going into the Vox AC30 top boost using the neck pickup This is a, an Ibanez art car that I, what I call Gretchified. Uh, I had Jim no work on this for me, and I put in TV Jones, Filtertron pickups, I, uh, TV classics. I've got all the wiring in there that would be in a Gretsch. i got Gretsch knobs on there. We've got the Biz, Bigsby type tailpiece. And again, just a little over 3 o'clock, and I'm using the Vox AC30. So this is the uh, Mississippi Queen pickup. So these are P90s. Awesome.
Let's check this out. Um, up until now, I've been using basically vintage pickups, PAFs, uh, Fender type single coils, Gretsch pickups, but these are the new Satriani pickups by Damasio. Uh, in this guitar, so let's see how that works with the treble boost, or whether it's too much or not. So, I don't know. Give it a shot. <laughs> But this sounds awesome with this too. I figured I'd give it a shot while the camera's on. So that's really awesome. <laughs> I cannot recommend this pedal enough. It, it's dynamic. It's touch sensitive. It's it's versatile. It, it just makes you want to keep playing. Greg, you did a great job, buddy. I really, I really appreciate you sending this to me. I want to thank my bass player Chris for putting up all this crap sitting in the back there, making sure this thing doesn't shut off. Because I have tried to make this video a bunch of times, and there's something wrong with the camera. It just keeps shutting off after a few minutes. So we have to stop, put it on, and just continue from where I am. So, thanks, Chris. All right, thanks for watching. Great pedal. Unbelievable pedal. The Greg Fryer Treble Booster Deluxe. Awesome. Thanks a lot.